You know, she can tell how it's done live because somebody left their cell phone in the room. So, but no, but um, to get back to the fact that the um, all of the cast, I thought, in my opinion, everybody up to Detective D was really good in what they were doing. Yeah, and then there's one actor that looked kind of familiar. Part of it is I don't know. No, which actor? The guy with the hand. Oh, that's Tony D. That's Tony D. Lung. This is a this oh. is a popular. You've seen him doing. He, this guy has got an army of credits, and he's a uh, you know you've seen him. He was uh, he'd been in um, just he'd been like. Um, uh, Wo Fat, Wo Chang Fat, Chang Fat. Even Jackie Chan movies. He's a very popular. He you know, likes to play, you know, police. He plays detectives, gangsters. He plays martial arts experts. He's a very popular Chinese actor. You know, it's so okay. He is a special guest in this one, and he's got it because he's so big. He was an and, but he is the star. He's from the first scene. Clean to the end yeah, of the movie. He really, he really is. It is his movie. It is but it was movie. called Detective D. Yeah, and Detective. And the Mystery of the Phantom Flame. So it's about Detective D. No, but uh, they said the, the, the I think the, the, they said it was mis. I do agree with the people. I said it was miscast because he was too young for the role. Oh. Way too young for the role. So, but um, cinematography is really beautiful. I mean, it's a typical Chinese epic. If you want to see an epic, and you want to see an epic done well about Asian history, go see a Chinese movie. The one thing about it is, it is subtitled, and so there are times where you're reading the subtitles, and you're like, I wish I'd have to read the subtitles because I want to watch the scene. Yeah. And you can do that better than I can. Well, uh, I'm used to watching subtitles and watching the movie both, but she has lousy peripheral vision. Or, you know, yeah, it's those Asian slanted eyes. Yeah, it's like these eyes, but... but um, uh, but it, it's uh, it, it's something you have to learn to deal with because it is in order to qualify it for uh, a, a foreign film, it has to be in that language. Mm -hmm. Even though I mean I can see that the movie is designed to come to this country in English. I mean half the time they're speaking in English. I can sit there and see what the words. And that's partly how I know what I'm reading the subtitles, mm -hmm. listening. No, watch how the mouth when he says. Uh, and maybe it should be this way. And I said, that's not Chinese. But what happens is um, we're the only country in the world, basically, that does sound recording on the film. Every other country in the world does sound recording separately. Because they'll, they'll dub voices, because it's not unusual to have somebody Uh, uh, there's an awful lot of foreign actors that are big monsters of their type to sound, um, you know, <laughs> like they got that little tiny... I know! Voice. It's because the voice came from somebody else. Yeah. No, it just... Uh, but they dub everything, all the other countries. It's, be it's a better method than we do because um, it's, it's not that difficult because all they do is they just slide the thing into place with the first syllable. You know, you take the soundtrack, boop, and they you mashed it up. But, um, well, part of it, it's an action film, and there's definitely, like when I said it's an epic, it's definitely it moves slow in some areas. Yeah. There's a little bit of a romantic twist. Yeah. And there's a, a little bit of nobody paying attention to the script. Actually, there's a lot of nobody paying attention. Why would you say that? It's a death sentence if you're caught on the property of the Chapman. Oh, yeah. I didn't, you know, um, that, there, there were nobody around, so if he's got no guards, there's no death sentence. And they also thought, Oh. It's really corny with the, with the magical. Well, the, the, don't you think that maybe he just passed all the guards? There weren't any guards. <laughs> Were there any guards in the magical? I know, see, he's very much about what's in the scene, right? Like, okay, I, okay. I'm, I'm within the, 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 the middle scene. scene with everything within the frame. I just, I got, okay, here's my biggest problem. My grandmother was a script um, supervisor. And it was my mo grandmother's job to make certain uh, uh, where are the guys in the row in uniforms? Uh, well, we decided not to use it. It says here, you have guys in, in, in the uniforms because they were in the scene when you stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were? That's how it you get from, from assistant directors. They were? And the director would say, then the director, uh, where are the guys in the uniforms that were in the scene yesterday? Because he heard my grandmother say it. 
They said, well, we, we forgot to tell them to show up today. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess how I got work. No, but this is a, they, uh, they're basically, nobody pays any attention to the script because it's terribly convoluted, which means one thing doesn't flow well into another thing. Totally, it's just a piece of action. Uh, where did the 20,000 arrows come from? Mm -hmm. And then there's an army surrounding the thing, surrounding of a hundred. But there must be twenty thousand arrows coming from somewhere, and nobody's excited about twenty thousand arrows flying into a building. Yeah. They never knew it happened. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you know, and part of it is they have the Chinese uh, superstitions. Yeah. That are well into play here. Well, it's all. Um, if you look carefully, it, this is. It does have a historical researcher in the title, so parts of it were well re Part of it were. Uh, was okay, re we're well researched. researched, and they took uh, like you took a bit from here and a bit from there, and you put them all together to make a uh, a mythical movie. Part of you know, it's all. I mean, everything has got to do with China. Everything there is Chinese legend. Everything. It's just not exactly in the right time and space. Mm -hmm. But um, but like I said, you know, if you. Um, but, 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 yeah, what I said is, <laughs> yeah, I, I did not do agree. About? I'm reading the, I'm, re, I'm reading off a review from Venice Film Festival. They said at times it resembles an India, a well-made Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Indiana Jones movies, and other times it looks like a badly made Dean Devlin librarian adventure. I love mm -hmm. that. So we we do you know because it's a Chinese movie I had to we had to have something to go for them so I took other people's reviews and I'm, I'm sort of trying to to put their versions of what they saw in with what we saw mm -hmm. and um, I mean I, I mean, well I mean, she, she basic I don't know whether she enjoyed it or not I just like I watched the movie because I I'm I I've seen a lot of foreign films in my life and I've been in a lot of foreign films and. For, you know, for Chinese movies, it's really a fairly decent movie. It's <laughs> kind of funny. For Chinese movies, it's really decent. <laughs> no, there are really good Chinese movies, uh, and there are bad Chinese movies, and there are fairly decent Chinese this movies. This is a fairly decent Chinese it, I mean, part of it is it's an epic, and so when I've ever watched epics, it's like, not that it's newsville, but, um, well, well see, see, most epics, I, it's, you know, I, I like action. <laughs> like action. And romantic comedy. So there was action and it was epic, so which means there's action and slow. Action and slow. But that but is, it was what? But the trick is, see But it was a good movie. It's Chinese cinema. Yeah. The Chinese cinema has a tendency to be they well, overdo you know, everything. Well, you know, and then there's scenes where they pull back and you're supposed to see everything. Yeah. And and you know that it's CGI. And you know that they do not have the budget of the American blockbuster movies. No. Because even though everything's in the scene, it just looks very um, it looks computer, computer generated. Computer generated. Yeah. And you're going, well, they do computer generations here and it looks almost realistic. Well, Which one is this? That's where they do the computer generation. I know! I was just it's, like, that's where our computer generation is done. But, um, but when they, they did it, they didn't spend as much time on uh, it. No, because they um, um you have Chinese movies that are made for the world and Chinese movies that are made for China. Well, this looks like a Chinese movie made for China that got released in other places. Well, they, um, they decided that, uh, I think they're pinning their hopes on this movie and one other movie. Other movie that's basically, I think, one yesterday at, at, um, at, at Toronto for best, you know, for their... Which one? Uh, basically, it's got to do more with the, with, you know, the young people uprising to over, overturn the corrupt. Remember well, that? actually, I'm kind of surprised about Toronto because it seems like there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on over there. Yeah, but I the, mean, the and is, you never heard. I mean, you heard little bits and pieces, but well, it I know, seems movies, like it's becoming more major. Yeah, movies that are supposed to one didn't do well. So George Clooney didn't do what he, he thought George Clooney movie was going to sweep everything. No, it didn't. But uh, I think the, the, okay, the, the, this movie is doing fairly well in the three categories you would think it would do well, which is uh, costumes, art direction, and photography. That's basically what you got. You have something with really beautiful color. You know, I think though um, you got to you got to hit it up against um, art direction and photography. You're going to get hit up 
at the Oscars by uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, and probably by uh, by the last of the Harry Potter movies. Was Alice? Alice, Alice is also the same situation. As yeah, because I'm trying to remember which which came out in which year. Because Alice this year, you're looking at there's these are costume dramas for all practical purposes that you have massive art direction, special effects. So this movie might crawl into that area, but I don't. But think it wouldn't it's win. It wouldn't win because then. Because if you're out. competing against like Alice in Wonderland, it's just yeah. like. And it's just like, not. Okay, the difference between this movie and Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Monty. In Dragon. Oh, okay. I just I, I don't would make that mistake. Yeah, but is that the acting was considerably better by it was universally good by everybody in that movie. Oh. And because they had more legs showing. I mean, but we've got to give it an Academy Award. You want to have the Chinese actresses show up with lots of legs showing. You know, like like Michelle Yeoh said, we don't have anything else to show, so <laughs> so we show lots of legs. But um, uh, I don't think it has a chance. I mean, it's like it was a good try, but well, for, in the foreign film and some of the costuming. Yeah, but I. Although I'll no, but I would have thrown the 3D print. I'd have simply tossed that at everybody because then you put it in a you put it in the category of what was Alice? 3D. What was uh, Pirates? 3D. What was Harry Potter? 3D. So. Whereas this one was it is a three D movie. Oh, you yeah, look but it, it looks like it's washed out. So it looks like it's it washed out. You're like showing you're showing your okay, I'll guarantee you it's got a better end title sequence than those bloody expensive uh, Oh, this movie. is the first time I've seen this sequence where it's in English as well as Chinese, the credits coming down. Yeah, and it's a good Two language. It's really goodly well done. And like the other things, but basically they spend a hundred million dollars on the movie and, and they go pay some kid with the computer to do the title sequences at the end. <laughs> really, this one is, it, it is, of all of the movies we've seen this summer, it's the only decent, I mean, Spielberg movie, Cowboys and Alien, and Aliens sucked on the title sequence. I mean, okay, uh, I, I would tell people, I've been in 1200 productions throughout my life. Uh, most of my, a lot of what I did before I got old and grew up, you know, Actually, stop. They, they no longer made westerns and war movies and musicals, which means they put me out of it. I did sci fi too, but not that much. But, um, uh, okay, you want to see my title sequence, my, 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 my credits at the end? That would have been, you know, that little bit, that would have been like the credits. You'd have had, or, or the opening would have been, you know, Detective D in the Mystery of the Phantom Flame, you know, Tony Lung, Xiao Den, Kyrie Lau. Bing Bing Lee and Andy Lau. Mm -hmm. That would have been it. That would have been it. But you know, they, they, now it's just like uh, 10 minutes of credits. 10 minutes of credits and 10, and, you know, you can have a title sequence at the beginning of the picture, which we're talking about, that goes on for a half hour. I, I worked on a movie, on a short when I was in college that won the Academy Award with nothing but 15 minutes of titles, thanking everybody. Are you serious? That's all it was. Then, well, sorry, we don't have the money to make the movie, but we had to tell people. You know, the guy would come out in his tuxedo, you know, the college kid came out in his tuxedo, and we thank everyone for coming to this movie. Unfortunately, by the time we paid for the title sequence, we didn't have enough money left to make the film. <laughs> and they leased the people in the short story that had a sense of humor. So, but, um, no, but, um, just my, my opinion, if, if, okay, it's better than the other crappy movies that we had our choices to go see. You know, it is, if you got a choice between what they're showing now, maybe up until now, for the last four weeks, there's been nothing on well, it. That's why we haven't been doing as many movie reviews. But part of it is for this, is, is it worth seeing it in the theater? Well, it's a very limited release. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're not likely to see it in the theater again. If it's, in, if it's, in, it's going to be it's bicycling from city to city, most yeah. of them have, probably have film festivals in them. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're at a film festival, yeah, it's probably worth seeing it there. Yeah. Um, as far as seeing it on, on TV, you see, I would probably. Uh, or you'd probably do a DVD release. Yeah, uh, it would do. Probably it would do well among uh, action people on DVD. TV, it will be smaller screen, and it loses it. I mean, this is a movie that really does lose it on a small screen. Yeah, some movies just look better. On and so it's just a, uh, you know, it's. You Unless know, you have a big screen. At this home. one is sort of an ambivalent, you know. It's just, I mean, we really. Screw, you know, skewered Cowboys and Aliens. This is a decent little movie 
that's got a big budget. Well, it's see, just the, the reason we, Cowboys and Aliens was they had the talent there. Oh, God, they had the talent, but they only and had they, one person involved that had ever been in a Western. And, and they hadn't done it well. This one, since I'm, I'm familiar with the Chinese talent, although they're supposed to be popular, I mean, you can see what they're trying to do. Okay. You watch it. If it happens to be on, watch it. Yeah. It's, it's not one of those ones where you're just like, oh, change the channel, don't watch it. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, you know. This you is a, this is an all-star cast list. Mm -hmm. It is an all, it is the, is, you know, it'd be, you know, just like Akira Kurosawa. In well, I have no idea. That basically is the guy that did the epic Japanese movies. Yeah, but part you of it is, Fumi do you love epics if you like Chinese actors and actresses? I mean, yes, you need to see this. You need to see it. If you're not familiar with that, it's like... It's probably going to be something you don't want to go see, especially, I'm, you know, um, you know, probably the version of will be released shortly after all the stuff is in. The Oscar stuff has got another two months to go, I think, for... You know, the, uh, the movies go longer because of the fact that a lot of the movies don't even come out until October because they try to, they, uh, they're movies that nobody would pay 20 cents to go see. This is what, that's the best picture, this is what I was reading. They said the best picture nominee probably hasn't even been in a film festival yet. Mm -hmm. So that's how you have to figure that out, that it won't even come out until next month. Mm -hmm. So they said that look at the movies that are out and you're probably not going to see any of them that have a chance of being the best picture. Because it's uh, it's going to be a movie that's going to do one week like Detective D in Los Angeles. It's playing played here one week so it can qualify for a foreign picture. You know, so that's the whole reason. But it's not going to because the other one, the that makes it. This one is sweep. This is sweeping the major awards in in Asia. But it's not doing that well out of the circuit. But it is picking up. It does pick up. It is picking up. Where, I mean, if it actually gets in there, it might have a chance. I mean, who would have thought that Game of Thrones or something or other would pick oh, up, pick up, yeah. Yeah. 